XRP and Ripple were and are a threat to the failing American financial system. In this video that I posted yesterday, I show you how the American financial system is in dire, dire straits. The middle class is getting wiped out, leverage source technology moving down to the working poor. We're at a 120% debt to income ratio in America. We have to borrow from other countries to pay for critical services. And Ripple had innovative technologies, XRP, a bridge currency that solved the liquidity crisis. So is that why on December 20th, 2020, they launched a case, the SEC versus Ripple, around XRP being a security to slow down the connection, to slow down the adoption of one of the most radical transformations and financial products in history? Well, that's what we're going to break down in today's video. My name is Coach Shavy. I work to make very complex macro and microeconomic strategies very simple so the normal everyday person can implement them. On the back end of every video, I share with you exactly what I'm doing in this current paradigm. All right, so let's dive right into it. All right, so let's check this out. We're going to look at the first thing is the tweet that I put out. I put XRP and Ripple were a threat to the failing financial system. The five things that made them a threat, speed of transaction, solves liquidity crisis, cost reduction, interoperability, and enhanced security and transparency. When you think of the banking system today, all five factors above make them a clear solve for the failing financial system. I believe XRP is one of the future of the financial system. So we're going to dive into speed of transaction, solve the liquidity, cost reduction, interoperability, and enhanced security and transparency with another enhancement they had that just came out on, I think it was May 29th. So let's dive into the first one, which is going to be speed. Okay. So one of the key features of Ripple and its fast transaction speed, according to Ripple website, transactions settle on the XRP ledger three to five seconds. This is a significantly faster than other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay, which can take several minutes and even hours to process. So before we get into the tribalism, the way that I see Bitcoin, I'm investing in Bitcoin, is a store of value like gold and XRP is a bridge currency. Two different ecosystems, two different use cases, right? Bitcoin's a store of value, 80% of the supply hasn't moved, risk on, risk off asset, It's can't print it, right? So it's a great place to store your money during this failing American financial system. XRP is a bridge currency that solves a liquidity crisis coming from the banking system and understand how archaic the SWIFT system is and how long it takes to move money. Okay, so the next thing is solves liquidity, okay? So blockchain startup Ripple, this is right here. This is back in what, 2023. It says Ripple says US banks will want to use XRP cryptocurrency after partial victory in SEC fight. And we've seen adoption as we get closer to a settlement. We're starting to see American adoption. Blockchain startup Ripple is confident US banks and other financial institutions in the country will start showing interest in adopting XRP and cross border payments after the landmark ruling determined that the token was not itself necessary as security. The San Francisco-based firm expects to start talks with American financial firms about using on-demand liquidity ODL product, which uses XRP for money transfers in the third quarter. So I guarantee you, guarantee you right now, as they're sitting here in the case settlement, they are having conversations with U.S. financial institutions, knowing that XRP is the only one with true clarity. Now, this came back five years ago. Many of you guys have seen this video from Michael Arlington. Ar Argenton, if I say that correctly, from um, Arlington XRP Capital. But I want you to hear from him how much XRP impacts um, movement of money. This is an older video, but I want you to listen to this. Okay, So we talked about um, the speed of transaction, three to five seconds, solves a liquidity crisis, and this is huge for cost reduction for companies. Um, the other answer, which is also true, is XRP is a fantastic currency to use for among other things, hedge funds. We need to move a lot of money very quickly. We make investments all over the world. Our LPs come from all over the world. And using banks to move money is a pain in the ass. I mean, it takes a day or two to move money around the world. And with XRP, our, our very first close was 50 million. We moved that money in, and I'm not shitting you, in like three seconds. And I think it cost 20 or 30 cents. I mean, $50 million, two or three seconds for like, what do you say, 20 cents? I mean, that's crazy, guys. Think about that. The threat that they pose to the American financial system. Think about the threat that they pose to the American financial system. 
So we talked about speed of transaction, which is what we need in America. We need it globally. We need to move money faster. We need to solve the liquidity crisis in America and globally. We have a massive liquidity crisis. Every single dollar in the system is debt. We need cost reduction. It's super expensive to move money. It's clunky. The next, we need interoperability. Okay, so let's dive into interoperability. Okay, so this came out on February 27, 2024. Ripple and XLR partner to boost real world asset tokenization on XRP Ledger. Ripple and the XLR foundations have joined forces to enhance interoperability on the XRP, XRPL blockchain, aiming to propel the next phase of real world assets, RWA, real world assets tokenization. The strategic partnership will empower developers to utilize XLRs, XLRs, general messaging, GMP technology. GMP allows them to execute calls on smart contracts across 55 blockchains. This capability facilitates the deployment of decentralized applications, dApps on the XRPL, fostering a more interconnected ecosystem. Real world asset tokenization will be the driving force of blockchain economy, says David Schwartz. Okay. So we talked about the speed of transaction, the solve the liquidity, cost reduction, interoperability. And then this came out on May 29th on Ripple's website, the building blocks of institutional DeFi on XRP Ledger. Okay. XRP Ledger is battle tested, enabled the secure, reliable tokenization and movement of value over a decade with over 2 billion transactions processed, represented over 1 trillion in value, moved over 5 million active XRP wallet holders, secured by a network of over 100 validators, XRPL remains a robust, robust as ever before. Its ability to handle transactions swiftly with low cost makes it an attractive option for institutions. The security feature built into the core protocol layer ensures that the transactions data remains secure, a critical requirement for institutional adoption. That's where the separator comes, guys. Coming from the banking system, this is a differentiator. They are track record, they're proven, they've moved money. So where do you think institutions are gonna go? Okay, they're battle tested, they're proven. One of XRPL's unique differences is the native protocol functionalities, which include built-in features that support DeFi activities without the inherent risk associated with smart contracts. The native support ensures the DeFi operations are efficient and secure. The design allows the liquidity from DeFi applications to aggregate at the protocol level rather than complete in silos, which enhances capital efficiency and overall institutional appeal. They are the Number one, in my opinion, going to be the number one winner for institutions. Okay. And this uh, came out on from Good Morning Crypto, May 30th, 2024. Check out their show. Uh, amazing on our channel here. Just in Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse predicts the US approval of XRP, Solana, and Cardano ETF. He said, I think it's just a matter of time and it's inevitable that there's going to be an XRP ETF. That's going to be a Solana ETF, and there's going to be a Cardano ETF, and that's great, says Grad Garlinghouse. What a big difference, right? We went from cryptocurrencies of fraud used for money laundering to now institutions are fighting to figure out how they can get involved. And the reason why I'm so bullish on Ripple and XRP and many other cryptocurrencies is because of the book Intelligent Investor. Ripple is a real company doing real things with real technologies. They have the ability to help institutions get out of this old archaic banking system into the new quantum financial system to move money at the speed of light. America is in dire straits right now financially. America is in big trouble. Liquidity crisis. The regional banks, are they, their liquidity is gone. We're a debt-based society. The average American has to make $150,000 to be middle class. Think about that for just a moment. Inflation is sticky. They can't lower interest rates right now. They told us they were going to lower interest rates. And if they do, our crypto is going to go through the roof. So we're still in this really neat phase right now. First, they resist it. Then they sue it. Then they regulate it. Then they join it. We're in regulation and joining phase, which allows there to be a lot of volatility. Now, that's the good news, because if you have an exit plan, if you choose to exit, you can hold long term forever. But I'm exiting 50% of my portfolio. Okay. The reason why I do that is because you will probably never make this much money in this short amount of time. Okay. And it's very volatile. So I'm pulling 50% off the risk, top of the risk pyramid. I'm holding 50%. 
I'm pulling it down the risk pyramid and I insure my wealth. I max fund my policies. That's what I like to do. Then from there, we invest in businesses. We have precious metals, silver. I'm using Bitcoin as my gold. And then we're going into multifamily real estate. So it's exactly what I'm doing within my paradigm. Okay. So we love you guys. We appreciate you. It's an exciting, exciting time. I will be traveling. Uh, my videos will be uh, pre-recorded for the next couple of weeks. I'll be heading out to Peru for a deep spiritual journey, uh, but all my content will be still still coming out. Uh, Monday, there'll be another video, sorry, that'll be live um, or whatever the day of. And then from then on, I'll be uh, going, doing, just sitting with God and presence and really reconnecting and um, getting back to source. And I think that's very important for all humanity. So if you need any support, uh, click the link down below. You can fill out a needs assessment uh, if you'd like to meet with any of my team members understanding how I ensure my wealth. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Love you guys.